Hello and welcome to NDTV Profit. Our guest today is Mr. M. V. Ramana, the CEO of India and Emerging Markets at Dr. Reddy's. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you. It's been a wonderful quarter. Profits have risen 11% in line with uh, estimates. Revenues have come in uh, around 7% up. Margins at 21.8 versus a 28.7, and the analysts had pegged it at around a 28.4. So slight marginal weakness there. Um, apart from that, EBITDA is up 4%. So I'm going to break down this performance and begin with the U.S. Uh, territory because I think that is what is attracting a lot of interest and investors want to know. So um, what exactly? Uh, how much is the rev limit contribution and what is happening to the base business? Because I believe the last conversation we had, we were experiencing some uh, relief on the price erosion front. And this time we've again mentioned that there has been some offsetting that's happened because of price erosion. So, what, so what's happening on that front? Sure. So what's good in terms of the U.S. business is both the base business is growing and also the contribution of the generic rev limit is also continues to be uh, meaningful. Um, in terms of uh, the price erosion that is quite uh, connected to uh, the industry that we are in, so that continues, but uh, overall the performance of US has been strong for the quarter. So um, also uh, there, there's a lot of acquisitions that have happened, four new launches and then uh, you've announced uh, the acquisition of a women-related portfolio. Uh, also, something on the, um, the the medicine for the nervous system. So, so what exactly is happening? What is the kind of launch pipeline that we have for the next two to three years in the U.S.? Also, um, on rituzumab, you know, the Bachopali facility, we've said that we're expecting a revert. Still, there's no revert. But uh, what is the kind of timeline that you have in mind for the product? So, when it comes to the acquisition of Mino Labs, this is a a company that uh, has products, which is a combination of probiotics and natural ingredients for uh, uh, menopause. Um, women's health is a category that we picked up uh, as far as the consumer health is concerned. As you know, uh, in terms of our effort on Horizon 2, consumer health is a focus for us in the US. So within that, uh, the women's health is growing and we felt that it is uh, meaningful for us to pick up this opportunity uh, with the with the acquisition of Amino uh, Labs, the other I think is a collaboration that we have done with Koya, which is for a, a specific uh, indication uh, neurodegenerative disease of ALS. Uh, that is where we have got uh, rights for certain markets, and we've invested some amount to uh, fund the clinical trial. The product is expected to get into phase two. So. A lot of what I've said is uh, uh, to look at opportunities to grow the U.S. business uh, beyond the generics. Having said that, there are several products that we are uh, working on, products that uh, matter for the U.S., and we expect to take them into the U.S. market uh, over the next uh, several quarters. So what is the kind of run rate that we could expect and the growth that you would see in the U.S. market in the, in the next two to three years? This is excluding the rev limit. So, uh, as you uh, would remember, we had said that you know we would um, target a certain high single-digit growth uh, in terms of our business, mm -hmm. uh, and we have uh, uh, we are continuing to launch uh, several products in the U.S. Uh, our expectation is to launch about 25 products every year in the U.S. We will continue to work on them and they will obviously be driving the growth other than the growth of our uh, base portfolio, which is, uh, which is where we have been also gaining the market share. Sure, sir. So uh, India business growth has been slightly muted at 5%, and uh, I believe the last time it was because of a delay in the acute season, also pressure from NLEM. I just wanted an, an outlook on what is going to happen on the India front uh, because this time also it's been the same thing. And also uh, the WPI index in the coming year is, is flattish. So NLEM impact on that will also remain. How do you see the whole of India business panning out? Sure. 
So India business um, has been um, on the lower side in terms of growth uh, because of two issues that have impacted us. One is a planned decrease of prices of Sigmas and second is a impact in terms of the divestment uh, income that we had last year. Hmm. So there are three, uh, apart from the fact that uh, the efforts to grow the core business continues, the three uh, levers that we are adding to the India business, one is how do we get access to innovative assets, uh, whether they are NCEs or NBEs or CARTI. The second is in terms of the consumer health, both OTC as well as Nutra. And third is the area of digital. In that, two experiments are already uh, in the market. One is a T2C platform uh, for diabetic patients, and the second one uh, is digital therapeutics and ADBO, which has started to receive traction from the patients who uh, have, have used the product and also repurchased it. And third, digital in initiative we should be getting into the market uh, in the month of February. So the way I look into this, uh, these three innovative uh, growth levers should help us to propel our uh, propel uh, Dr. Eddie's India business into the top five. Uh, the aspiration is to bring in innovative uh, uh, medicine uh, to ensure that within the existing uh, therapeutic areas where we have endowment, we will be able to offer a comprehensive portfolio that covers both innovative assets and uh, the current uh, brand generics. Uh, should there be any inorganic opportunity that come our way and uh, make strategic sense, uh, makes a strategic fit for us, we will continue to look for those opportunities. Otherwise, uh, in the coming quarters, you will see India getting back into the uh, double-digit growth. Okay, sir. So, sir, this would be at par with the market growth, or uh, do we uh, do we have any idea where we can outpace the market? Because IPM growth is somewhere between eight to ten percent. So, what's the target? So, if we are going to grow according to the market, I don't think we will be able to change the rank. As our aspiration is to hmm. change ranks, the endeavor would be to beat the market. Okay, sir. So there is there's a fund infusion plan that you have in place, uh, 650 crore, which you're planning to in, infuse in your subsidiary and a further infusion in a, in the step down subsidiary. So can you uh, throw some light on what exactly is the plan? What what kind of capex are you looking at, and uh, what are you planning to do on that front? I mean, is it going to be a product? Is it going to be a new research? What is happening? Yeah. So uh, we are investing into. Origin Oncology, which is a 100% subsidiary of Dr. Reddy's, and Origin Oncology has in turn a subsidiary, uh, which is into the CDMO business. So this money is basically to fund uh, for uh, uh, increased capex, uh, both in terms of R&D as well as in manufacturing, and to some extent uh, pay back uh, some of the loan that the separate subsidiary of uh, Origin uh, had towards uh, Origin. Okay, sir. Um, and so, on the margin front, uh, how do you view this current year? I think you had said that we'll close at around 25%. So, does the margin guidance stay, or are we expecting to close slightly higher than the guidance? And uh, what would be your view for FY25? So, uh, as you know, we don't provide uh, forward guidance in terms of the margin. But uh, whenever we have spoken to the investors, we have always said that uh, our aspiration uh, going forward is to look at uh, an EBITDA uh, around 25% um, on a, a, you know multiple quarter basis. You could have ups and downs within the uh, quarter because we're also investing into the future. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, it was wonderful chatting with you as always. Thank you. Thank you so much.